recently there's been a couple of uh, railroad related items uh, online that people have been talking about and one is uh, something called a Senco sound tender and this die cast tender uh, was made by a company called Senco and uh, you see it's got a, a third rail pickup but it's not for light it's not for um, a whistle it's for a speaker and uh, basically the speaker mounts on the die cast frame and there would be a little condenser in here and uh, you can if you look closely you can see the, the wire pickups uh, off the center rail the wheels are uh, uh, die cast as well sprung trucks you know it's kind of a nice tender uh, but how this was designed was a uh, 78 record, 10 inch record, was played and somehow it was transmitted uh, through the tracks and uh, into, through the trucks and uh, came out through the speaker. And it was real railroad sounds from your uh, tender and uh, this came out in the late 40s. And so it was pretty ahead of its time. It was expensive. My understanding, it was uh, fifty-four ninety-five for the setup, and uh, there was no locomotive. You would use your uh, Lionel or other uh, locomotive to pull it, and uh, it, uh, you know, sound was was pretty good for the time. You know, late forties having uh, pre-recorded sound in your tender was was pretty cool. So. If you ever wondered what one of these looks like, here it is. And uh, the body itself is about six and a half, seven inches. A little bit longer if you include the coupler. And uh, it's a little wide. I compared it to some of the Lionel locomotives and you know, it's two and a half inches wide. That's, that's pretty, pretty uh, stout for a tender, but uh, Anyway, that's what they look like, and uh, take a look at the ad. Not sure if you are able to tell out of the ad, but uh, Senco was out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, here's inside the shell. Underneath it says Senco Sound. Uh, incorporated and uh, here's a couple of photos that show a close-up detail. Another recent topic has been these wonderful little railroad emblem uh, tins. These were available out of uh, post cereals like Sugar Crisp. There's 28 in all. There's uh, Western Railroads, Midwest Railroads, Eastern Railroads, and uh, quite a nice collection. And I've got all 28 of them. I've had quite a few of them for a number of years, and it wasn't until just a few years ago I decided to collect the rest. And, and you can still find them all. It's a fun thing to collect. There's a few more up on this beam that didn't fit on the post. There's the uh, Lackawanna Great Western, ACL, Rock Island, Reading, CNO, Burlington, Erie, Pennsylvania, Illinois Central, Grand Trunk, and ends with the Chicago Northwestern. Well, you had to eat a lot of sugar crisp to collect 28 different uh, railroad emblems. And since I was talking about that, I thought it would be interesting to share uh, what it took to eat a lot of Wheaties. And in 1953 and 54, I think most of mine are 53, uh, you had these great license plates to represent uh, the states. And uh, 
Here's Washington. I think I've got all of these. Actually, there's two Washingtons. There's a 53 and a 54. There's Georgia. Delaware. Oregon. Louisiana. Just about skipped Montana. I always, as a kid, enjoyed the uh, ones that were shaped like the state. And you'll see Tennessee when we get to that. Uh, Indiana. South Dakota. Maine. North Carolina. Nevada. California. Minnesota. Oklahoma. Pennsylvania. Another shape. Arkansas. Mississippi. Wisconsin. Florida. Alabama. Illinois. Connecticut, North Dakota, Texas, Michigan, you can cheer as your state goes by, Iowa, Kentucky, Maryland, Massachusetts, Wyoming, New Mexico, South Carolina, Missouri, it's another 54, West Virginia, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Utah, Alaska, Colorado. There must have been a 53 and a 54 Colorado. I'll have to go back. Arizona. Nebraska. New Hampshire. Hawaii. No year on that one. D.C. Vermont. Virginia. Kansas. Another shape. There's Tennessee. That's pretty cool. And Ohio. Seems like there was another Ohio. Anyway, that's a great thing to collect. Now the good news with the Wheaties is you didn't have to eat 50 boxes. Uh, you could actually send away for the whole collection. And uh, I believe they also made some uh, of the Canadian provinces and maybe some other um, countries, but uh, it's, it's another great thing to collect. And uh, maybe someday I'll display them in the train room as well.